with ARU Classic Wallaby statesman Jules Gerasimov. And Jules, obviously you'd have fond memories of the British and Irish Lions. You had an opportunity to play against them twice. Very rare for any player of any country. Well, we're fortunate because the 71 tour was actually a tour to New Zealand. And they decided that they'd have two opening games against Queensland and New South Wales on their way there. And we beat them in 71 here. And uh, we are the only provincial side uh, to win, win against the British Lions at, on that tour. It, they beat every provincial side in New Zealand. Uh, so that was a great effort. And it was also a side, that British and Irish Lions team of 71, remembered and revered as one of the best they ever produced. Oh yes, they had some fantastic players. You know, as mentioned there before, Willie John McBride and Mike Gibson and, and others, uh, who I, you know, I played against on, on the previous tour to 66 over there. Uh, they were a fantastic team and uh, I, I think the thing that brought them down was the fact that they came uh, to Brisbane via Hong Kong and uh, my friends at the Hong Kong Rugby Club, uh, I think they looked after them fairly well. Jules, what about this upcoming series? There's enormous anticipation around it. Um, as Bill Pulver said today, you know, close to 400,000 people will be marching into our stadiums to watch them. How do you think the Wallabies will fare against them? Well, they should go well. Uh, I think they'll be helped by the fact that the, 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 the Lions have had these two uh, you know, pretty ordinary sort of games as a lead up. Uh, depends what happens tomorrow when they play the Reds. Uh, and I think the Reds have got a good chance of beating them because of the soft uh, two games they've had before. Uh, and if that happens, well, uh, they'll get into a little disarray and uh, it'll give them the Wallabies a, a bit of a, a leg up, I would say.